In the last part of your throat, you may experience pain and a persistent need to clear your throat. In this video, we will talk about the treatment and the reason why this happens. We will gain insight into why this occur and by the end of this discussion, you will have comprehensive knowledge to prevent this issue in the future. Taking antibiotics, especially for viral infections, not only eradicates the infection but also triggers various side effects. Antibiotics eliminate the friendly germs in your body leading to a compromised immune system. As a result, the absence of these friendly bacteria allows the proliferation of fungus throughout your body. Previously, these friendly bacteria acted as a defense against fungal growth. With their absence, the fungus can spread contributing to sinusitis, a medical condition characterized by swelling in the nasal cavities leading to symptoms such as headaches, runny nose or nasal congestion. Eliminating a minor viral infection can inadvertently lead to a more significant problem necessitating the use of stronger medication with increased side effect and further weakening the immune system. In this video, we will address each aspect individually and explore ways to alleviate a sore throat without resorting to a heavy medication. The first factor to consider is GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. This condition arises when the valve between the stomach and the gastrointestinal tract fails to close, allowing stomach acid to repeatedly enter the gastrointestinal tract. This results in irritation, swelling, and a throat rash, prompting the need to clear the throat frequently. Many individuals experiencing this issue are often prescribed antacid and stomach acid reducing tablets. However, the root cause lies in low stomach acidity preventing the proper closure of the valve and allowing acid to enter the digestive tract. To address this, consider taking betaine hydrochloride capsules 3 to 4 times before meals and incorporating apple cider vinegar, maintaining balanced stomach pH and equal acid levels. While more expensive options like endoscopy exist for detailed body examination, this cost-effective solution provides an easy remedy for acid reflux, benefiting many individuals suffering from these conditions. Those with acid reflux commonly experience gas, bloating, and indigestion after meal. The second reason for a throat rash is post-nasal drip, a condition where mucus drips down the throat from the back of the nasal cavity, triggering coughing. This occurs due to the viral, bacterial, and fungal infections. It happens because of the biofilms that our friendly bacteria create to avoid antibiotics. These friendly germs form clonies and create a shield preventing antibiotics from affecting them. Without this defense, antibiotics can harm both friendly and real germs. Another contributing factor is classification manifested as tartar formation in teeth or plaque accumulation in arteries. Treating this with antibiotics exacerbates the issue. You may notice increased problem even if antibiotics were taken days or months prior. There is always a mucous liquid in your throat. You snore at night. You can't breathe properly. Fungal growth, disturbances in biofilms, and the extinctions of friendly microbes are all a part of this. These friendly germs make the biofilms around you stronger and these biofilms are slimy. They try to protect themselves and as a result they create more mucus. If your mucus are yellowish or greenish, it is due to bacterial infection. And if it is a viral infection, then mucus is clear in that case. It is transparent. But it is not 100% accurate that you can get infected with both infection at the same time. Post nasal drip. If the problem is not severe, then you can gargle with normal slime solution. You can rinse your nasal passages with salt water. You can rinse your nose properly. For this, nasal rinse bottles are available in the market. You pour water from one nostril and take it out from the other. There are many videos available from which you can learn the method of nasal rinse. Salt has the antimicrobial properties and also has the ability to kill germs. And it is a very easy and effective way to cure mild infection and you can make the salt water at home. In which you can mix half teaspoon salt in a cup of lukewarm water and wash your nose well from inside. There is another very effective way and it is very convenient that you can use baby shampoo for nasal rinse. Regular shampoo is not because it has a lot of chemicals which irritate the nose and can cause inflammation. In this, you mix 2 teaspoons of baby shampoo in 4 cup of lukewarm water and wash your nose 3 to 4 times a day from inside. 
it will dilute the sinew and will make it loose. If you add salt to the baby shampoo water, it will be most effective to solve this problem. Understanding these factors and adopting appropriate measures can help alleviate throat discomfort without resorting to heavy medications. It is crucial to address the root causes and adopt the preventive measures for long-term relief. That's all for this video. Take better care of yourself. See you in the next video.